Hello, my name is Dr. Sandra Cabot. I've been a medical doctor for nearly 50 years. And today I'm joined by natural therapist, Rachel Bauman. Hi, Rachel. Good morning, Dr. Cabot. Thank you for having me here today. And we're talking to you today about a wonderful product called NAC, also known as N-acetylcysteine. It's very helpful for people with problems with their immune system. It's something you must know about. Particularly people with chronic infections, recurrent infections, or inflammation. So what is NAC? It's the precursor or raw material for your body to make glutathione. And glutathione is basically what keeps you alive because it is able to repair the damage in your body that's happening all the time from free radicals. So glutathione, the most powerful antioxidant in your body. It cannot be made in your body without NAC. So that's how important it is. Particularly and with the lifestyles people are leading today. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Too much of the good life, Dr. Cabo. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. Um, <clears throat> and look, it's nothing new. It's been around for a long time and it's on the world health organisations list of essential medicines. So why don't more people know about it? Well, in Australia, it, it's really not something that doctors are taught about that much. Uh, the main use for NAC in Australia is we give it intravenously in emergency or casualty yeah. um, when people overdose on paracetamol because it will save their life. It stops them going into liver failure. Mm, well, that's pretty powerful. Very pretty powerful. powerful. Well, it, it's a medication actually, um, but it's a safe medication. It has a long established safety record in adults and children, and it's been approved by the US Food and Drug Administration since 1963. Wow, that's yeah, yeah pretty. So it's an old time. medication. Um, but still, not nearly enough people know about it. I agree. Yeah, they really, and they, do. They really should. Um, it's been used in clinical medicine as a mucolytic agent. Mm. Yeah. Very, so very it, important. Um, the uses of NAC, and you can see here in the slide with the sinus, um, the lady has a lot of thick mucus in her sinuses because they're infected. Um, and that's what NAC will break up, that mucus. Oh, it's surprising how many people come into the pharmacy with chronic sinusitis. Yes. It's, um, it's very common and they'll suffer with this for years. Yes. Not knowing uh, on repeated um, doses of antibiotic therapy, looking for um, additional supplementation. Yes. Um, but not knowing about the NAC and how beneficial it could be to help them clear that chronic Correct. infection. Yeah, and people are taking antibiotics, they're using yeah. steroid sprays. And what's that doing? Well, that's suppressing the symptoms, mm -hmm. um, but it's not breaking up the thick mucus. So NAC has been used in clinical medicine for years to do that, not just in sinus, but also in bronchitis. It's uh, been used in cystic fibrosis, in yeah. children with cystic fibrosis it's used because they have that thick mucus. It's been used in bronchiectasis, pulmonary fibrosis. So it's very good for mucus anywhere in the body, the upper respiratory tract in the mm. sinuses, the nose, and also in the lungs. And that's, yeah, that's yeah. quite common as well. A lot of people yeah, are suffering. Yeah, thick chronic bronchitis exactly. or bronchiectasis. Um, it's a, basically like a natural antibiotic and it can be used along with antibiotic drugs mm. or after antibiotic drugs to prevent recurrent infections. And it can be used with other natural antimicrobials like Bacteclear. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. So um, if someone's coming in, they've got chronic sinusitis and they've been on repeated um, doses of antibiotic therapy and they're not sort of having that effect, then NAC would be absolutely fantastic yes. and critical to go alongside the antibiotic therapy. Correct. Um, so let's <clears throat> say someone has got chronic sinus and they've had antibiotics but they don't want to go back on them at the moment. Yes. What I'd give them is NAC mm. and I'd give them the Bactoclear. Absolutely. Because it's a natural antimicrobial and it really does help sinus. That's right. As well as your gut bacteria. Um, and 
hopefully that's going to reduce the recurrence and the chronicity of this infection because chronic infections are very dangerous. So you think about your sinuses, I mean, they're all up here mm. and here, so they're very close yeah. to your brain. Yeah, it's not And not you good can to actually have... get a brain abscess oh, yeah. from sinus. So, you know, you really want to get deep and break up that chronic infection. Absolutely. Treat the cause. Absolutely. And I've had customers come into the pharmacy. Like it's it's not just the suffering of the patient. Like they're, a lot of the customers that with the chronic in, sin, sinusitis infections will have terrible breath. Yes. They're unable to. So that, that can be quite difficult for yes. them as well. You know, Correct. having to, people are always backing away from them because yes. they've got that odour because of that bacterial infection. And it'll infection. clear up the tongue too. Absolutely. You know, if you've got yeah. a white-coated tongue. Yeah. Um, so good. there's a lot of studies on NAC. We've got so many studies, double blind studies, population studies, you name it, and we can provide you with those studies if you want. You know, this is an old medication that's been around for ages. Why is it a secret? Well, it's not really promoted properly because uh, I guess it hasn't been patented. You can't patent a natural substance. Well, that's right. Mm. It's also very good for heavy metal detox. So it'll chelate things like cadmium, lead, mercury, and it'll take them to the liver and, of course, they get pushed out of your body through the bile. So the, the liver really chelates important. them with the glutathione and then they see and it pushes out So for al the bile. someone perhaps using aluminium deodorants yes. on a daily basis, we don't yes. realise, or hair products with aluminium, Yes. Um, these are all the, you know, our bodies having to deal with these yeah. constant heavy metals that we're using in everyday products. Correct. Or um, in so industry. Really. So, you know, it's yeah, a, it's a great heavy metal to... detox, along with selenium. Selenium is very good for getting rid of mercury. Now, let's talk about biofilms. They're really interesting mm. um, because infections persist and become chronic or recurrent because of a biofilm. Yes. So a biofilm is really a mucus layer that microbes like bacteria or viruses or fungi will create to protect <clears throat> themselves. That's so very clever. So it's a fortress. They yes. hide behind it. And that stops your immune system as well as any antibiotic drugs that you're taking from getting to the bacteria. So this is explaining basically antibiotic resistance Correct. or chronic infection yes. where a person's having um, prescription after prescription of antibiotics and they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Yes. Um, staph infections, yes. um, you know, UTIs, yes. um, sinusitis, yes. lung conditions. Um, that's right. Yeah, that's, it, that does explain. All chronic infections and, and antibiotic resistant infections have a biofilm mm. and unless you break that up you'll never eradicate it yeah, so you know the NAC has got a lot of studies it's been shown to be effective in breaking up biofilm even from proteus or staphylococcus bacteria yeah, that's that's incredible so it gets deep and it breaks up the biofilm and then your immune system can get to the bugs and kill them and it can also enable any antibiotics that you're taking to work, mm. no matter where the infection is in your body. Because so, infections hide in nook and crannies and they're surrounded by a biofilm. Diverticulitis. Yeah. Mm. It's incredibly yeah. important as a companion sale, I believe, um, alongside um, prescription um, antibiotic therapy, um, for someone, particularly if you're seeing a customer come back for a repeat prescription, it's indicating that this that the antibiotics are not targeting and doing what they're supposed to do yes. probably because of the biofilm so NAC is, yes. is a perfect companion it to is. see a better result from that antibiotic therapy definitely um, yeah yeah so biofilm is very interesting a lot of studies on them um, and as we say biofilms and infections they they coexist and they become chronic now think about dental plaque yeah. That's a biofilm. Yes, amazing. <laughs> All those amazing. gum bacteria, oh. they form the plaque to protect themselves. And so so people with gingivitis or periodontal mm. disease, yeah. um, they, they're getting seeing the periodontist and having that periodontal treatment or they're yeah. using um, mouth washes in yes. their store. Um, NAC can, yes. can be For dental really plaque and gum for... disease. It's got a lot of studies for that. So neutrofluor? 
um, you know, often dentists will um, yes. say, you know, you'll need to take this fluoride treatment. Yes. Um, or, you know, particular mouthwashes in store. Yes. Um, you know, that could be really good yes. for helping. Well, it's, it's proven scientifically to work. Um, now, one thing that, <clears throat> excuse me, one thing that's really good to know about is like NAC and selenium work together. They're friends. <laughs> They're synergistic. So NAC is the raw material to make this wonderful glutathione antioxidant. Mm. But glutathione is dependent on selenium to work. Mm -hmm. So if you're selenium deficient, your glutathione won't work. Right. So you won't control inflammation. Right. And if you have a viral infection, which could also have a biofilm protecting it, you know, you need the selenium to lower the virus, the amount of viral load. So someone with a chronic persistent viral infection, mm -hmm. or indeed any infection, it's good to give them selenium with the Alongside NAC. Alongside the NAC. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so the So even for benefits. warding off colds and flus. Yes, um, it's, very good. You know, very good, powerful combination for warding off those colds, those viruses. Yes. And for shortening a viral illness. Yes. Yeah. So looking at the health benefits of um, NAC basically improves the detoxification process, inhibits inflammation in the whole body, exerts antimicrobial and antibacterial effects, improves oral and dental health, exerts lung, liver, kidney protective and reparative effects. Mm -hmm. So people with fatty liver or you know, chronic liver disease. Very it's used good. quite often in, in people with the um, chronic liver disease, isn't it? Yes. Dr. Cabot. Yes. As quite a successful treatment. It, and how does it, it work? Can you. Uh, well, you see, well, NAC causes your liver to make more glutathione. Excellent. And the glutathione detoxifies your liver, repairs damage. So if you have damaged liver cells or damaged kidney cells, how are you going to repair them? Glutathione. Perfect. How do you get glutathione? NAC. And you make it work with selenium. Perfect. So, you know, people with chronic organ disease, liver, kidney, um, you know, pancreas, any uh, chronic inflammatory organ disease. Also, acne. Now, acne is an infection. Yes. So you've got biofilm in the sebaceous glands. Ah, it helps yes, acne. Of yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And there's, that is, that is um, quite debilitating for... Um, you know, the young teenagers that yes, come in. Yes, horrible. Um, you know, they'll go on to the prescriptions for Accutane yes. and, and other sort of prescription Ackerman, other yes. prescription medications. Yes. Uh, this can be taken really safely alongside yes, their can. prescription medications. There's a really good, it'll help their medications to work more That's efficiently. Right. If they're they'll taking get a better result. Like Roaccutane yes. for acne, very good drug. Yeah, but it can that. upset the liver, so the NAC would help yeah, the absolutely. liver to be protected. Yeah. Um, and um, also, you could use it with acne attack or other acne gels. Yes. Because it's working on the cause. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It's breaking up that biofilm. Absolutely. Um, and that's why often, you know, even antibiotic therapy for acne. Um, is sometimes not effect, not effective because of the yes. biofilms that the correct yeah yes. in, in the sebaceous it, it's glands. It's synergistic so. with antibiotics and it also helps to reduce age spots. You know, for people with a lot of sun damage. Well, that's actually um, something that a lot of people come into the pharmacy looking yeah. for. Yeah. You know, with their age spots. Because you know, people have intravenous glutathione to whiten their skin. Ah, yes, um, there you go. Yep. Particularly Asian people. Mm. Um, so if you take the NAC, you make more glutathione and you will reduce the, you know, skin damage, the ageing spots. So that's a good benefit, yeah. Now let's talk about how it's absorbed. Okay. So NAC is well absorbed from the gut. A lot of people <clears throat> are confused and they take glutathione supplements. Yes. It's not well absorbed. No. Um, the gut will break it down. It's much more cost effective and more effective clinically to mm. take NAC than it is to take glutathione orally. That's really important to yeah. know. So yeah. I'd say people don't waste your money, take NAC, not glutathione orally. If you're going to take glutathione, you need it intravenously. Uh, so it's well absorbed. Any cautions? Well, occasionally, um, people who are highly allergic, you know, people who have 
create a lot of histamine, mm. terrible hives or <clears throat> anaphylaxis. So high allergy. They're very high histamine people. Mm. They can react to it a little bit. Right. Um, so I say maybe talk to your doctor first about it um, or just start with a very low dose if you're a very high histamine allergic person. Um, the other thing is people with active peptic ulcers or severe heartburn, it can be strong on the stomach. The way to take NAC capsules is with a whole large glass of water. Not just a, a little glass of water, but, you know, a big glass a, a of water. A full glass of yeah. water. Yeah. So um, maybe three or 400 mils. And you can take one capsule or two capsules with a whole large glass of water. And it's best taken away from food. So you could take it first thing in the morning or mid-morning or mid-afternoon. Don't take it after dinner because it can be strong <laughs> on the stomach. Uh, so lots of water. Um, and that way, generally, it doesn't upset you. I take it with a lot of water and it doesn't upset me. But if I forget and don't take it with water, I'll feel it on You'll my stomach. You'll know. Yes, <laughs> I've done that too. <laughs> because, you know, it's, it's a medication. It works. So you've got to take it properly. Um, with the powder, also take it in um, a large glass of water. But the capsules tend to be a bit more strong on the stomach. So that's how you take it. And... Um, We've got a lot of references, mm. clinical references. There's heaps of studies. And, you know, it's it's something that people <clears throat> really need to know about because a lot of people oh. suffering with chronic infections. It's one of the most common things that I sell in the pharmacy, like particularly because um, chronic cystitis is such yes. a um, common thing. Yes, it is. Uh, we're seeing it all the time. People are coming in, they're saying, I'm taking the cranberry. It's not working. I'm on, yes. um, you know, prescription after prescription of antibiotics and I've still got this persistent urinary tract infection. Well, there's your answer. Yeah. It's NAC. Any chronic infection or, like blepharitis. Yes. That's got a biofilm. Conjunctivitis that won't go away. Mm. Um, you know, a biofilm in the mouth. So fantastic for ulcers in the mouth. Yeah, so yeah. Corsig, a great companion. Yeah. We've got a really good companion chart that we use in the pharmacy um, to help with um, companion sales. Yes. Two prescription medications. So there's a lot of... Our blue companion chart. There's a lot of yeah. There's a lot yeah. of medications that you can take NAC, and that will help the medication to work more efficiently. Yes. Um, yeah. So that's a right. A lot of medications. You'll have happy customers because you know they won't be. And even long COVID. Um, yes, you know, long There's COVID, a lot of people point. coming in these days yes. that have got that persistent cough. They're, they're yes. unable to get rid of that persistent cough. They've got a foggy brain. Yes. You know, it's a go. It's one of my first go-tos yes. alongside with the selenium. Yeah. yeah. The, the the two powerful right. combination of selenium yeah. and NAC can yes. help greatly for people with long COVID. Yes. Post-viral syndrome. You know, yeah. people who have had glandular fever for a long uh, yes. time, or yes. um, cytomegalovirus, or long COVID. You know, from the SARS virus, they mm. often have chronic inflammation in their lungs or sinuses. They can't taste anything. That's right. It's due to biofilm. The biofilm is preventing you from getting better. That's right. Even the brain fog, like that's yes. that's quite common. A lot of people are finding it's um, very presents very similar on a, yes. a brain scan to um, someone who has had chronic fatigue. Yes. Um, the brain fog is there, so yes. it's clearing up the viral overload with the yes. NAC and the selenium. getting rid of the biofilm. And we have a really nice brochure mm. on NAC. Um, describes biofilm for your customers and, um, you know, how it helps with your liver function as well. Mm. Very important. There's a lot of people with uh, post-viral syndrome and long COVID, they have a fatty liver. And that's oh, another right. reason they don't get better. <laughs> and, that, and therefore, I guess, by taking the um, NAC, they're helping their body to make glutathione. Yeah, which repairs and that's their liver. repairing the liver. That's right. So it works on the and whole body. And in turn, the rest of the body. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. So NAC, it's been around, as we said, since the early 1960s, but not many people know about it. So hopefully we've enlightened you and inspired you. And thanks for listening. And thank you, Rachel. Thank you so much, Dr. Gaboth. Mm -hmm.